Hey guys, welcome back to DOC. I'm Isaac. I'm joined by the one and only Juicy J. What up? And as you can tell, I'm still repping the Stars jersey because we recorded the episode on the same day. So hopefully again, we get the dub because that will be two videos I'll be set to up- upload if we lose. I'll look forward to watching these videos if they if they lose. <laughs> I'm going to be like, mm, this is my favorite part. Oh, goodness. I'll- but um, this is kind of a a controversial topic to some. Not so much to me, per se, uh, because, I mean, I, I don't think there's an issue with it. But, Ju- but Juice, how is it, is, this, is it a bad thing that Tears of the Kingdom is a $70 game, even though it is on an 8th gen console? I mean, there is definitely an opinion uh, against it. It was one that I was talking with. Uh, uh, it was brought up in the work in progress chat with myself and, and Brent and Casey. And it was very interesting. And of course, I brought it to you. It's like, I mean, is it? Is it not? I was like, we seem to be a little bit of at odds. I would personally think that you shouldn't spend, you shouldn't have a ninth gen costs on a game that's an eighth gen game, you know? Right. And at that, that game is going to be considered and probably labeled as DLC or something similar to Iceborne. So. Yeah. I mean, so. I haven't played the game yet. I've seen people play it, but I, I try to avoid spoilers. But yeah, yeah. but I've, I have friends, I have coworkers that actually played it. And I talked to my cousin today, he played it, and they say everything I complained about with Breath of the Wild, they fixed. And the, and the, and the mechanics are a lot better, and and the, and the map is like, you know, it's it's big, because you know, Breath of the Wild is big, but everything like everything runs smooth. It, 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 it runs smooth. And here's my deal with so I so just to get it out there I have no issue with a seventy dollar game for that to be seventy dollars like I don't, I mean I don't like any game be seventy dollars but if I if there had to be a game that's seventy dollars I'm okay if it's that one because here's the thing though it is eighth gen there are ninth gen games that cost seventy dollars but those ninth gen games I won't even say they're good enough for the eighth gen generation. So, because because it's part of a previous gen, if the quality is better than those of the ninth gen and they're charging seventy dollars, I'm like, I mean, I'd rather buy a last a last gen game for seventy dollars that I know is of high quality. You know, it's it's a, it's a fun game instead of a game that's broken. You know, needs countless updates to, and patches to make it playable for seventy dollars. You know, and 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 probably and like maybe the story's not good. You know, it, it, like it's just a terrible game all around. That seventy dollars, but it's justified because it's on the PS Five Series X S era. You know what I mean? So for me, I'm okay with it being seventy dollars. At least, at least I know I'm getting quality. I'm not getting a game that needs a day one patch. And much more after that. So that's that's, all, that's what I got to say about that. I mean, I mean, there's definitely benefits for Breath of the Wild. It's just, like I said, a conversation that we had uh, that Brent, Brent had brought up from Work in Progress was the, you know, it's it, is it worth it for that? It should have been a $60 game, not a $70 game. But that, you know, really brought into question is like, you know, since Nintendo is in 8th gen still, should they be charging uh, seventy dollars for their games, you know. I mean, we saw Super Metroid Prime come out and they kept it at forty dollars, which was a huge thing. But let's also be fair. There's also that part of it's like, yeah, but you wouldn't have charged seventy dollars for that. There are people that would have paid seventy dollars for that game. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to throw shade here. I'm not trying to throw shade here. But if that was a Sony property, that's seventy dollar game. So, well, I mean. Well, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to gauge that. So Last of Us out. remake. Oh, sorry. Huh? Last of Us remake. Sorry. Oh, oh, came out again. I mean, everything's kind of skewed with the Redfall coming out with the seventy dollar game tab. And look, I, I, I do. I have recognized it was a seventy dollar game to really push people towards getting Game Pass since it's cheaper to play the game. You know, huh? but it's, it's still it's. Yeah, it's still a seventy dollar game. It didn't do well either. And, and I and I want to say that game. I I never said the game was good. I knew that game was going to be terrible. I was never impressed I mean, yeah. by that game. 
I, mean, I was impressed by it. the fact that they were trying to do a little vampire shooter. You don't see that anywhere, you know, but that's that's not the point of the topic. Like, so this is more just giving base opinions. And, and I had to agree with Brent on. Now my camera got out of focus. There we go. I just I didn't know if you want to just like <laughs> slap hands or something like I got you like, hey, hey, like, yeah, I got you. But uh, um, like, like I said, keeping it quick and, and concise. Uh, it's just the fact of I I did have to agree, agree with uh, with work in progress on that one is the fact that it's right. Well, I say work in progress, agree with Brent on that one. It's like, I mean, if it's an eighth gen, it should be a $60 game because Nintendo gets to fly under the radar of ninth gen expectations, you know? And if you're getting out of the limelight of ninth gen, if you're getting out of the the expectation of what you're supposed to be bringing on ninth gen, and really, if the only thing I'm hearing from this is that it's a game that actually had a successful launch and it's running smoothly as games are supposed to do anyways, that's not enough to justify seventy dollars. I get that their uh, seventy dollars games that are coming out are falling short, but at the same time, you're not ninth mm. gen. Like like even back in the day well, when they were focused. Their DS and 3DS games, they didn't change the price to sixty dollars just because they were focusing that. Well, I, 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 I got I got a rebuttal for that. So they they should be punished for staying eighth gen and not ninth gen when ninth gen itself is one of the worst gens in a very long time. It was like they knew to not release a console during the pandemic era. They're like, let's just stick with what we got and build on top of it because. Because they're ninth gen consoles, dude. They're they're ve- uh, PlayStation, Xbox are very underwhelming compared to their mm-hmm. previous gens. So th- well, the fact I mean, the expectation is super high for them. I mean, it's it like and it's understandable. Like they came out sporting that they're more powerful than PCs at the time when it first dropped. You know, yeah. And that was the whole selling. Well, teraflops. Pretty much got console PC. Yeah, it's, it's you've got this amazing piece of equipment that literally is so advanced it doesn't need you. You know, it's like it's it, it was this whole thing, and now we're finding finding a bunch of issues, mind you. I mean, Sony's doing a lot better than Xbox and when it comes to that category when it comes to first party titles. But X and but Xbox apparently is supposed to have the most advanced system, and it's still not meeting up to par. You know, and I feel like the it, Xbox Series X is what the Dreamcast was back in the day, a fully powered machine that just then. It has its fans, and the Dreamcast was a great console, but it but it flopped, but it flopped. It it really did. It really did. Like I feel like that's what the Xbox is right now. Like they're the equivalent to that, and they can still save it. But that's what's looking like to me. Like yeah, you have the better machine on paper, but do do you have the games to go with it? You know, mm-hmm. or do you have the games that like at that time? Do you have the games that are better than Nintendo games? Yeah, but that's just that's just my take on. It. Like I said, I I kind of had to agree with that. It's like I mean, if it was a sixty dollars game, I could I could definitely benefit it more. And props to to the conversation work in progress. Like we, you know, he brought it up. It was a good question. You know, yeah. I'm glad it started this this conversation with us. Like these are just our opinions. You know, yeah. and uh, I'm not taking anything away from the game. Of course, I'm just saying it's like if Nintendo's going to be an eighth gen, we should have eighth gen prizes at least. So, I mean, like I agree. Like, like my thing is, I'm not, I'm not saying Nintendo should charge seventy dollars for all their, all their games. Like I, like I said, I, I'm more for the sixty dollar games. But I'm just saying, if I had to pay seventy dollars, I'm okay paying it for an eighth gen game because I know the quality is gonna be there, and I, I know everything that I expect of the game is gonna be. I know it's gonna work right out of the packaging. Well, you get your chance right now. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom released on May 12th. You can pick it up now for $70, right? Go ahead yep. and go and uh, but I'm, give it a try. Anyone who wants to, it's a great game. I'm not getting it yet because I'm playing Skyward Sword right now. And I have a lot of games in my backlog that I have not gone through yet because of school, which I'm still in school because summer school, baby. Oh, summer courses. Let's graduate early. But Juicy J, where can they find us, man? Bro, we are Dude Less Chat. We talk games, movies, and all things in between. You'll find us on all of your favorite podcasting platforms. Look for our podcast. Try to drop those on Wednesday. Social media, you're going to find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and, of course, YouTube at Dude Less Chat. 
If you like what you're seeing, if you like what you're hearing, or if you just have a very avid opinion and you want to take some less than favorable shots at myself for having an opinion that's not so favorable, you can always leave a comment down below. Give us a like or a dislike. Hey, yeah, I would wrong. say like, comment, and subscribe so you can follow me and make sure to pester me in the comments every single time I come out to speak. Like, don't listen to this man. His beard's a lie. So, I mean, please. Yeah. Please come and see, come and see us. I'm always down for friends and foes alike. Oh yeah, and look forward to new new content coming out. I'll, 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 I'm I'm kind of doing a little change up on my own end, and Juicy Jake got his thing, and Jacob has thing. So look out for look out for some 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 some, some changes along the channel. But until yeah, then, yeah, yeah. hey hey, I really like the content you're seeing. If you like our faces and stuff. Tell us in the comments. We might we might start an OnlyFans. We'll make sure it's subscription only, no PPVs. Let's go, baby. There but we we'll go, see y'all later. Thank you for, for tuning in. We'll catch you on the flip. Later.